This video reviews phone distance from a speed time graph. Now when you have a curve and you're asked to estimate the distance given a speed time graph, then to find the distance we have to find the area underneath the graph. To do this, we split this graph into a number of shapes. Lots of options here. I'm going to split the graph in half and then put a dot here on the coordinate 2, 2, and imagine this bit here, and then imagine a line down to here. So the first approximation is a triangle, and then the second approximation is actually a much better one, is on a big trapezium. So triangle, trapezium. If I can find the area of these two shapes, it'll give an approximate estimate for the distance covered. However, because the graphs below the shapes, or the shapes are bigger than the graph, it'll be an overestimate. So, this first shape's a triangle. If I draw it out to the side, it's got a base of 2 and a height of 2. So, to find the area, it'll just be a half of the base times the height. Well, four, two times two is four, half of four is two. So it's in meters. So the area under that triangle is two meters. In the first two seconds, approximately two meters were traveled. Now the second shape's a big trapezium. It's got one side here, a much taller parallel side. It's got, there we go. Now, the first height goes up to 2, the second height goes all the way up to 16, and it's got a width of 2. Now, the formula for a trapezium's area is a half a plus b times by the height or the width. So, a and b are the two parallel sides. h is the width of the so, so this is a half of A plus B multiplied by the width. A half of 18 times by 2. 2 plus 16 is 18, which when you work it out, just gives me the answer of 18 metres. So approximately 2 metres in the first two seconds, and then a further 18 metres in the next two seconds. The total distance is approximately... 2 plus 18, which equals 20 metres. So again, given a speed time graph, to find the distance, you have to calculate the area. When it's a curve, it's an estimate, and in this case, because the shapes are too big, it would be an overestimate for the distance travelled.